Hello and welcome to another issue of our Luft video training. Today's topic will be the Dekon 8 UMB, which is a digital analog converter. That means you can convert UMB channels from UMB essentials into analog values. This Dekon will work as a master. That means for one UMB station you can only use one Dekon, so you can maximum convert eight uh, analog signals with this Dekon for one station. The signals which you can produce, generate are first current signals, for example 0 to 20 milliamps or 4 to 20 milliamps and you can also choose for um, voltage between 0 and 10 volts or uh, 2 and 10 volts. To connect the Darkon 8 you have two possibilities. The first possibility is if you only use one UMB sensor you will be able to connect this sensor directly to the Darkon without an isocon. Therefore you can connect the bus of the UMB sensor directly to this connector. This is the first possibility. If you have two or more UMB sensors in the network, you need for every UMB sensor one isocon and then you need to connect this Darkon to this UMB network. I will show you how. You can put the DIN rail connector here on the DIN rail, then you connect together uh, the connector to the system, you will install the Darkon and that's it. To connect the Darkon to your PC or to your laptop, you can use this RS232 serial port here of the Darkon and you need only a cable, RS232 standard cable, to connect this port to the laptop or the PC. If you want to configure the Dacon 8, we need to start the UMB config tool. Then we go to Edit, Sensors. Now we have the type of sensor list where we can choose the Dacon 8 and add it to the selected sensor list. To check if the Dacon is really com uh, communicating with the software, you can mark it and click on the Verify button and you will get back a Verify OK, so the communication is stable here between the laptop, a PC and the Dacon. So now, if you want to configure the Dekon, you mark it and use the configure button here. Load profile from sensor. This is the sensor configuration menu. So we need to load the profile from sensor. Use the button. Now the profile will be loaded. And now we have the configuration sensor configuration menu here. Uh, if you use the info button, you will get some in additional information about serial number and of course the firmware version. And then we click on Dacon 8 minus UMB and here we are. This is the configuration menu of the Dacon itself. We have on the left side a general properties where you can change the ID. For example, you can change to 2, but not, normally this is not necessary. Standard is 1, it's okay. Then of course there's the description of the device and we can also change the measurement interval. That means 10 seconds, every 10 seconds you will get a new analog value on the output. Then we have the communication properties on the right side. Standard line speed is 90,200, the protocol is UMB binary and um, here we have the measurement setup of the Dacon 8 itself. So what we can do here in this menu is to really configure the analog outputs. So you see the Dacon 8 has maximum 8 analog outputs and you can configure all of them here. For example, analog output 1, then you have the device, so that means from device, for which device you want to use the, the digital channel. In this case, in our case, we have connected the WS600, so you have to choose WSXUMB. You can choose between all different UMB channels or UMB sensors here, but in our case we have installed the WSX. Then, of course, you can also choose the right ID of your W. In this case it's ID1, it's okay. And then you can configure the channel which you want to map into the analog output 1. So if you open this window, you will see you will be able to choose all the digital channels of the 
WS. So we will start for the analog output one with the temperature, for example, average temperature between minus 50 degrees and 60 degrees Celsius. The output mode, we want to have the, the analog signal in current, for example. Of course, you can also choose voltage or you can also switch it off if you don't need this analog output. In our case, it's current. It's OK. Then you have the minimum value of the current, which is 4 milliamps. And you have the maximum value, which is 20 milliamps. You can, of course, also uh, set it to between 0 and 20 milliamps if you want. Then you have the minimal, minimum value of the temperature, which is minus 50, and the maximum value, which is 60. And our error current, that means if some error occurs on this channel, the uh, analog output will be 2 milliamps. The decon will give you 2 milliamps at, as an output. So now we can go to the second channel, second analog output channel. Again, WSX, ID1, and then we can, for example, map uh, the channel 170, which is the average U point, for example. The same thing, we choose the output mode, also current, then minimum value, maximum value, minimum value in Celsius degree, minimum value in Celsius, uh, maximum value in, in Celsius degree, and the error, error current, same thing. Three, we have relative humidity, for example. For four, we have uh, absolute air pressure. For five, this is switched off. The same for six, seven, and eight. So now the configuration is done. Everything is OK. We go to main, because now we need to program our new configuration to the Decon 8. And therefore, we use the store profile and sensor button. And now this configuration will be programmed on the Decon. takes a little bit some there is a percent bar you will see so but you have to wait until 100% is reached okay now you get the information config written to sensor we we'll click on okay and now you can close this window now you are in the main menu again so now of course you want to see if the channels uh, are configured the right way, the outputs are okay, so you can activate the channels which you want to see of the Dakon. Okay, first of all, normally you have to update the channel list, so don't forget to update the channel list first, so that you get all the channels of the Dakon which are available. So now you can go to active channels, and you will see now you will be able to choose the channels. So first channel, which is the Celsius degree channel, the air temperature channel, so we will activate it. The second channel is the Mapping the 4 to 20 milliamps output, we also activated. Second channel was the dew point, also the 4 to 20 milliamps output for the dew point. And the third channel was relative humidity and also 4 to 20 milliamps for the relative humidity. So you say OK, save and exit, file, start measurement, and now you will see you will get the values. Here we have the value, the air temperature in Celsius degree, 27.65. Then we have the same value in milliamps, which are 15.29 milliamps. Then we have the dew point, 14.66 Celsius degree dew point, uh, and the current output of 13.141 in milliamps, and the relative humidity is 45.06%. And we have the milliamp output 11.21 milliamps. Of course, you can also now use your digital multimeter again and connect or measure the real output. And they should be the same level like this one and this one and this one. And now you are ready to connect the DACON to an external data logger, for example, or to a SPS or something like that. After the configuration of the DACON with the UMB config tool, you will be able to check the analog outputs directly on the DACA. Therefore, you have to use a digital uh, multimeter here. Then you can directly connect with the pins here of the digital multimeter to the um, signal output pins. For example, GD and 01, so you can measure and see the value on the digital multimeter, GD and 02, GD and 03, and so on. And after that, you will be ready to connect the complete system maybe to a data logger or to the S uh, SPS.
So thank you very much for your interest and if you need further information about the Darkon 8, you will be able to download the manual on our homepage. Thank you very much and bye.